It's the challenge of the day, challenge of the day, challenge of the day, challenge of the day, it's the challenge of the day. Good afternoon, Cliff High School. Welcome to our new and improved gymnastics challenge of the day. Now this is going to run, run alongside our challenge of the day and our sixth form superstar, Oliver Jory, is going to be teaching us a different gymnastics movement once a week. It's going to be released every Tuesday alongside challenge of the day. It is a gymnastics challenge of the week. So a couple of things just to run through very quickly. Number one, Oliver is very, very, very good gymnast. So we make, need to make sure that A, we are safe in all of our movements and B, we are not trying anything outside of our comfort zones, okay? Obviously with gymnastics, there's different movements your body might not be used to. So it's really important that we make sure that we are safe at all times, okay? So listen to the technical points, make sure we're safe, but most importantly, enjoy learning a very, very, very impressive new skill. Here's his video and enjoy. Hello and welcome to my handstand tutorial. So first things first, Learning this trick, the prerequisites are first of all a standard gymnastics cartwheel. Um, I'll do a tutorial on this next week if you need it. Um, but uh, the reason to learn this is so that you don't land on your face, you can twist out the handstand when you go up into it if you need to. Uh, if you do find on, land on your face however, please send me that video. Um, because that sounds hilarious. Right, second prerequisite is a chest facing full handstand. This is just to get you used to the idea of locking your arms out and taking the weight in your wrists for the handstand. This is not for balancing, but it can um, help you to get the idea of going over your head. So the way I'm gonna teach uh, going into the handstand is by going into half handstands and slowly progressing your way up to be able to find that balance point. Finding the balance point is all about keeping your arms directed at the floor, hands shoulder width apart, shoulders above your hands and then you want to try and push your hips above your shoulders. Now you don't want to try and just throw your legs up over your head. A lot of people make this mistake and it usually ends up arching your back and then overdoing the handstand so that you, then that's why you have to twist out of it. Why I recommended you learn that earlier. So for the actual handstand, uh, you want to really be thinking about pushing your hips over your shoulders and keeping in that position once you found the right balancing point. Okay, so for two extra challenges, if you can already do a handstand, the first one is doing uh, a handstand from a cross-legged position and then back down into the same cross-legged position and the next one I think it has probably as a name in gymnastics but I don't really know um, is from lying down on the floor pushing yourself up into a handstand uh, these are a bit harder but either way give them a go if you can yes. um, but anyway hope you enjoy this please send your videos to Mr. To Mr. Taylor um, and I hope you enjoyed It's a challenge of the day, challenge of the day, challenge of the day, challenge of the day, it's a challenge of the day.